Welcome to Musikun Frieden Berlin, where I have Raymond from Komeniak with me. Uh, for starters, uh, would you care to tell us uh, who and what is band called Komeniak? Yeah, sure. Uh, Komeniak is a mixed word of company and maniac, so it's like company of maniacs, which used to describe us very well when we formed the band because we were a bit younger then, a bit wilder, and yeah, it was a really crazy time, so I think this name is just perfect and we wanted to like all done on the tradition of great Swiss metal bands like starting their name with C like Celtic Frost, Coroner. So yeah, it's also another point of it. Uh, you are starting your European tour with uh, Dr. Living Dead tonight in Berlin. So what are your expectations for the tour? Well, for the tour, we are going to many different places, so I expect to meet lots of new faces, but we're also um, returning to places where we have been before. We used to tour with Metal Church last year in summer, and we have some venues which were the same, so I hope to see some familiar faces there again. And yeah, but also, like, it's a good chance for us. Like, there are free bands out tonight, free young bands, free wild bands, so we're going to have a good time, and I hope the crowd is going to have a good time as well. Okay, and uh, how important are live gigs for Co-Maniac? Well, it's the most important thing in the world, like especially when you are an unknown band, you cannot reach anyone without playing live. And we really love playing live because it's, I mean, obviously we love to play music, but it's better if you have like someone in front of you, you really like get a reaction. It really gets you the energy it needs. Yeah, yeah, and uh, what actually makes a good uh, live gig for you guys? Well, it needs to be like a good mix, I think, between energy from the band, the crowd, and like you shouldn't fuck up too much, like not too many mistakes and everything. It's also, it's not very easy, like if you jump around like crazy, you play just bullshit, which is shitty, obviously, but you also have to put on a cool show, so you always have to find some way, like somewhere in between. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, you released your latest album, uh, Instruction for Destruction, last year. Uh, how would you describe that album? Well, especially compared to the first album, it's a bit more technical, a bit more complicated. I think people have to um, listen to it probably more than one time. It's not like that easy going anymore. Many people told me like first I didn't really get it, but like yeah, after ten times I really started loving it and it grows. It's probably a bit more interesting, while the first album is more in your face, so you can listen to it one time, have a good time, like drink a beer, mush around or whatever. And like, probably the second album is a little bit like nature or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah you already mentioned uh, drinking beer and mushing around, but uh, what does uh, trash metal mean to you? Well, there's not like one thing uh, defining fresh metal for me. For me, it's like uh, just like being free, doing what you want, wherever you want to drink beer and mush around or just like enjoy the music or whatever. I think for me, fresh metal is something really free. You don't have to uh, fit in any shape or pattern. It's, and that's the rebellion about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh... How do you see the state of uh, trash metal as a genre in 2018? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, some bands are like really big, but for new bands, I think it's not that easy because the old bands are still around and the new bands are coming and not really like uh, doing something new or kind of putting different parts together and everything. So people rather prefer the old bands and like yeah, it's quite hard for young bands to like grow. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's also cool that we can see all the old bands like from the 80s and they're still running, like playing great shows and I enjoy it. I'm happy that we are able to see them. Okay, and what are the plans, our future plans for Co-Maniac? You are, of course, now starting your European tour, but what other plans do you have for 2018? Well, we're um, in the songwriting mood again. We are preparing our um, third album and we don't have anything like really fixed but we're also like working on different arrangements for more touring because like I said before it's just like the 
the best way to reach people and we really enjoy being on tour so we hope you can come back yeah is there gonna be any summer festivals this year well we have one festival in germany con- uh, confirmed by now but it's like a rather small one from a metal mm-hmm. club and we're working on different things but like always in the business it's like 50 50 it's like yeah, yeah. sometimes you have you're really lucky and this works out everything's working out and sometimes yeah just yeah and you just got a new album out but uh are you also uh working on new music yeah exactly like especially mm. like our two guitar players are working on new stuff and they're um, preparing everything but i think it it will take some more time but yeah, yeah. and uh i read uh this uh, phrase on your web page that said uh, doers will prevail that's intriguing uh, what does that mean <laughs> well honestly it's not for me so i <laughs> cannot <laughs> Uh, say what it means but I think we had this from the very beginning and it sounds good <laughs> <laughs> well it sure does oh well, thank you very much and uh, break a leg tonight <laughs>